Okay, so 4.2 liter uh, V6 out of a Ford F-150. Um, I've been rebuilding it, um, and I kind of came across a interesting little timing thing that I kind of wish I'd have known a little bit more about before I started this. Um, maybe this will help somebody else out. Uh, but on this 4.2, uh, you've got a timing cover, pretty big sucker on the front of this engine. Uh, on the front of the timing cover, the water pump is mounted. Um, one of the cool things uh, I like about this motor is that it's got an externally mounted oil pump on it. So if you wanted to change your oil pump, you don't have to get into it. Uh, and you can actually access this pretty easy uh, from underneath the truck uh, without taking the motor out or having to raise it or anything else. Um, so that's pretty cool. However, now if you want to uh, mess with the oil pressure relief valve, you're going to have to take the timing cover off because it's located in the timing cover, not in the pump itself. Um, so what I came across whenever I was dealing with timing on this, um, let me show you here. First, let me get this water bypass thing out of the way. Um, and then I've got my EGR pipe disconnected and I'm pull it out of the way so we can maybe see and, and get at this stuff. Um, so what we're dealing with here, uh, your, your camshaft and your crankshaft, there's also a balance shaft in here and the woodruff keys on all of these things are either up straight up or straight down um, and, and you can find that in the book pretty easy and that kind of stuff. Right now uh, this is at top dead center. Um, you know, I finished putting the timing uh, chain on and the cover and all that back. Um, so it's still at top dead center. So uh, in order to do this operation we're going to look at, you're going to have to make sure you get it at top dead center first. Um, so uh, uh, an important tip, if you're taking one of these apart, uh, maybe you'll learn before uh, you do it, unlike me. Um, when you take this thing apart, this little deal right here, there is your camshaft position sensor. Um, I've already pulled the screws and we'll lift that off of there. Um, there's your sensor. Basically, it's a little hall pickup type thing. Uh, your camshaft drives a gear on this. This is a lot like, uh, and maybe uh, on an older version of this engine, this is where the distributor went. Uh, but this is a lot like the, the distributor setup we used to see on older stuff. Um, but anyway, this uh, camshaft position sensor here, and this with the little pickup in it that affects that sensor, is uh, called the synchronizer. Um, now, this thing can be a problem for you. If you pull it out, uh, if you take this engine apart, uh, if you get into the timing, pull the timing cover, pull this thing out by itself, any of that kind of stuff, uh, without knowing exactly what you're doing in advance, it's going to become a problem for you because there's no way you're ever going to get this thing synced back up to where it's reading your camshaft at the right time when everything's at top dead center. Um, what's crazy about this thing is, here, let me pull this thing out so I can show you a little better. Um, it's got a little bolt here with a washer. Again, just like a distributor, uh, you know, where you used to could adjust it. Um, you, you, you don't want to adjust this thing. You got to get it set up exactly right. Um, so anyway, when you pull this out, uh, hopefully the shaft comes with it if everything's like it's supposed to be. Um, let me go ahead. I've got the old oil pump here, so let me go ahead and show you that, how this works. You know, again, just if you're familiar with the old distributor systems, you know, this is uh, pretty familiar to you. The shaft on this thing is what turns your oil pump. It's driven by uh, the camshaft on this gear right here. And so that's what drives your oil pump. Uh, kind of set up just like this through there. Alright, so uh, the hold down bolt, I've already pulled that off. Okay, now uh, an important thing I want to note for you. If you 
happen to watch this video or figure it out uh, in advance before you take this thing apart, um, what you're going to want to do is make yourself a mark on there and then make a mark on here that you can line it up to. So, uh, I will show you, there. there's another way to get this aligned. If, if you've already gone too far with that, um, there is an answer. Um, basically, I think the book tells you something like 54, I don't know how, some, some number of degrees off the center line of the engine. Uh, and that's not helpful to anybody. Um, but anyway, so, you get your, your cam and your your crankshaft all lined up uh your balance shaft everything's aligned your timing marks just like on a typical you know what you're used to the, there's timing marks on the gear pretty easy to understand pretty easy to get all that stuff timed this is the mystery um for whatever reason uh they didn't make this easy at all uh you see the little half circle deal in there uh and and that is what affects your sensor here. Um, it, it, if it was maybe uh, where it lined up with a certain spot or a certain mark when it was a top dead center, uh, if, if maybe the, the two ends of this little half circle or C-shaped thing uh, formed a line with, a, with that notch there or something that made sense, uh, that'd be real helpful, but they didn't do that. Um, the only way you can get all this figured out and get it aligned um, is there's a special tool. Uh, now I paid about 40 bucks and got this set because uh, apparently there's some other cars that have this uh, as well. Um, but this is the first one I've ever come across that had this deal. So. The gray one is what goes out of my set for uh, the Ford F-150. From what I understand now, you can buy this on Amazon or from Ford uh, if you want to pay for it. Um, just the one that you need for the 4.2 liter. Uh, I needed it quickly, and I was able to find this set at the parts store. Uh, it's got what I need here. So, like I say, this... Uh, when when everything's at top dead center, it's off on some kind of weird angle. So like I say, uh, the engineers that made this weren't trying to help you. Uh, you've got to have the special tool here to get this thing synced up to where it needs to be in relation to the sensor when all of this is at top dead center. So basically what you have to do is take this. You see it's got a little half circle in it too. And you've got to engage the little half circle that's in this thing with that. Uh, once you get those notched together, then you've got to turn this thing until it goes into that little groove there, the slot. Now, all of this whole thing is locked together. Uh, as long as I keep that little tool on there, this thing is locked together and it is pointing right here at this deal. So all of this is set up for number one at top dead center now. Uh, I don't know how you're ever going to get there without this tool. Uh, I brainstormed and looked at it and tried everything and uh, cussed engineers and uh, I had to go buy the tool. So anyway, um, once you've got everything lined up and you're ready to put this thing in, basically what you're going to do is uh, leave the tool in there. You've got this thing locked so it's in position. You don't want this thing spinning around as you go in there. You want this thing set up, okay? So then you go in just like an old distributor or something and uh, you want to engage. And because the teeth on this are slanted, this is one of those deals that's going to twist on you as it goes in and engages. So you kind of got to back it off a little bit from where you want it. Um, so let me see if I can show this um, so I'm putting this thing in here and hopefully you can see where I had some little marks that I made on there uh, in green and so I got lucky there and got it on the first try sometimes you may have to to pull it out and move it a couple of times because you got to get it on that exact right tooth to get it all engaged now if uh, 
if you were unfortunate and tore, tore into this thing and didn't know about this going to be a problem um, and don't have it marked, get the tool, get all that thing squared away like I did before you put it in here. Then this little hole, this mark right here, and this arrow on top of this tool are going to point right here at this top bolt on your water pump. So if you don't have it marked and, and, and you're worried about it, you're going to end up pointing it right there. So there's kind of a way to get around that. Uh, also, see, when I paint, th this, is, this is where I got lucky. When I painted the motor before I took this apart, um, this little hold down screw that's in there, uh, you can see where I kind of was mashed off by the washer. Uh, so I was able to figure out where that went. Um, so as you can see here, um, that kind of made a mark for me. So I was able to go back off of that and figure out where this thing lines up. Uh, and so now everything's tied properly. And when I put my camshaft position sensor back on, it's going to be set up properly for top dead center. You tighten down the, the little hold down bolt just like an old distributor and uh, you're good to go. Uh, without this tool, you're going to bang your head in the wall for a long time trying to get this. Uh, I, I don't know if there's a way to actually succeed at this without being able to sync this up. Because like I say, somebody was a wild man and they've got it where that that half circle is off at an odd angle. It's not pointing at anything that makes sense uh, that would help you put that together. So I hope this helps somebody out. Um, if, if nothing else, don't take this thing apart until you've got what you need to put it back together uh, or you can figure out how to mark everything. Uh, I'd say be careful with that. But I hope this helps somebody out.